Right, it's Paul 2E1HYI back again um, with this horrendous video of this Zastone. Um, as you know, last time round I uh, messed up and ran out of uh, film. And I was telling you basically about being in the menus and using this button here to go back, if you remember. Uh, I did mention the programming on this, um, I'll just elaborate on that. That basically you need to be in um, VFO mode so go to work mode um, select VFO mode punch in a frequency and any parameters then go back to um, work mode and put it back into uh, channel mode then what you do is you press and hold uh, the menu button and then this button on the side then you choose your channel with the arrow buttons the one you want and then uh, press save and that will put it in I'm not going to do it now but that's that's what you do just uh, for your reference there okay um, I've discovered that um, allegedly um, there's a buzzing um, on the receiving end of uh, this transmission and it's very low buzz it's a bit like um, a transformer underpowered transformer when you're trying to work your radio it's nothing no big deal but if you put it on narrow mode it um, does away with that for some reason um, so I'm not entirely sure um, what that's about but it works fine on that I've only had one person say to me that it's a bit quiet but other than that it's been fine as you notice I've changed the antenna on this again it's just a whim that's all nothing important uh, just gives me a bit extra this um, full length um, UHF antenna okay um, what else can I tell you about this I've got my upper with me uh, 2E0CRS at the moment uh, what else do we know about this that I've not um, mentioned so far. Um, these buttons here are programmable. It does appear that this button here, the monitor button, only programs as monitor if I'm right. Yeah, only programs as monitor even though it gives you the options on the uh, menu to change it. For some reason or another, it, it, you can only have it as monitor. Um, but I've got this uh, program to messages. So when I press that button, we get messages. I'm hoping you can see this. I'm, if I'm looking through this um, screen here, it doesn't look like it's very clear to be honest, but we'll see. Uh, that gives me messages. These are status messages which I can select, um, which I've um, put my own messages in these. Um, I can send to uh, a like, a like radio, um, same radio, and it will basically um, select contacts. Uh, select a contact there, press OK and that will send a message. Having said that, this is another issue. The message, um, the messaging system seems to be a bit iffy at the moment for some reason or another. But we did have, we'll look at this one, uh, the other radio belonging to my oppo, he did receive, just to see if I can get that, if we can see it, don't know if we can. We've got a message anyway on that. Uh, and you should be able to read it and uh, tells us what it is. There, there's the message that I've just sent him. It's a status message. You've got ten of these you can put in at least, if not more. Okay. Um, so far, so good. Um, it does have a system on this whereby you can select. Um, for instance, this is in digital mode, this particular channel I've got on, and I've got a D in the top corner here. It does suggest that I can select um, mixed. We're a bit undecided how this works. Um, if I select that's a digital channel, if I go to... Uh, let me just have a look here... Uh, channel type I believe it was yeah channel type uh, mixer digital or mixer analog really 
I think what we're saying is is that if it's on mixer we can receive an analog as well as a digital signal um, so if I put this on uh, I'm gonna put this on channel type and I'm gonna put it on mixer digital and I'm gonna get my oppo to uh, get Chris to, uh, to give me a, a call in analog on that uh, simplex channel and it's with well, we've we've set it to a frequency and um, if he gives me a call on analog and we'll see if that comes through as you can see even though it's in digital we've received the analog uh, call so um, it will enable you to hear analog calls even though you're monitoring digital it's quite useful um, we didn't discover this uh, facility till relatively late so um, right a um, couple of other things it has a slot on battery clip at the back uh, belt clip which is really useful because if you're going to use a case like I have here uh, this case here um, was given to me by someone um, and it belonged to um, I believe a high tier uh, it's a high tier case and if you'll just bear with me I'll show you um, how it fits in it does it does fit in there in a minute. does fit in that case <laughs> as you can see pretty much perfectly all the buttons and everything so if you're unsure whether you can get a case for this uh, you can um, the back thing on there isn't it wasn't very good so it got removed but uh, it would be quite easy to um, order a click fast button and um, rivet it straight onto the back there and you'd have um, a click fast um, system your radio um, it's a good size radio this I like this it's um, it's a proper size radio um, and that's how I like them okay uh, the next um, video I'm going to do will be about the performance of the thing so we'll give it a test and um, let you know let you see just how it performs on digital we've had just for your interest we've had um, one of these radios connected to a roof antenna and this one connected to a car antenna and we've achieved um, something to the tune of 10 stroke 11 miles on digital radio to radio so if anybody tells you that it's rubbish digital uh, there may be um, out of context shall we say I'm being polite okay then um, for now, that's it, and I'll come back to you with um, a test um, on this radio. I'll let you see how they actually work. Okay, catch you later, guys.